Welcome back, graduates. All right, so today I want to show you something that came out around July 11th, um, which you know was like almost a month ago, but it's still fairly new, and so <clears throat> people haven't you know uh, dabbled in it. And uh, so I want to show you right now what it looks like and what it is. It's called Shopify Bundles. Now. If you go into the App Store, you can go into the App Store by going into Apps and then Apps and Sales and then go here and then click on Apps and Sales and also go into your App Store and then look for Shopify Bundles. So what that looks like is Shopify Bundles. It's just fairly pretty new and what it does is it increases your average order value with Shopify Bundles. Um, it offers right over here your customers uh, better product curation and discounts and increase your average order with product bundles. So basically if you buy more, save more. Now it, we do have a theme called Ecomify that um, has you know a bundle builder for you. Um, it, I looked into it, it does act a little differently, but this is still a great, awesome um, app and it is free. It is free, I don't know when it is gonna be paid, if it is gonna be paid at all, but right now it is free. And so what it tells you is easily create fixed bundles and multi-pack directly from your Shopify admin but, um, in the product section, no coding or customization required. I'm gonna go through the steps of how to configure and set up and what it looks like afterwards. And then uh, customers can choose from options like size, colors uh, for, the, <clears throat> for the products, uh, and then customize your bundle uh, your bundle product uh, page with images, variants, things like that. And then inventory is also updated in real time. <clears throat> and here are the reviews. It's fairly brand new. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> if you haven't already, add the app. And that's uh, what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go into the app section and I'm going to go into apps and go into here. And you can even type it in, but it is fairly new. So if I do Shopify bundles, if I know how to spell Shopify, it's going to here. So it looks like that kind of icon. So I don't exactly see it. So I'm just going to take this URL and put it in here. And I'm going to add the app. Um, so I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to add the app to my store. Install the app. Now this is for demo purposes, but I just wanted to show you. Um, the Shopify bundle uh, app is in early access. So unfortunately we don't have access to this yet. So I'm gonna show this to you. I want to show you that some stores have it, some stores don't. Not sure why, but this demo store doesn't, maybe because it's in development. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my own personal store. And I have the app right here, bundles. So right here, <coughs> If your store isn't in development or if you might not have it yet, um, I think the reason why was because my, my store is in development. So it has to be an active store. In order for your store to be active, it has to be on a paid plan, either you know basic, advanced, plus, um, and things like that. So I'm gonna go into create a bundle. And I'm just going to title this and I'm gonna do, um, you can title this in really whatever you want. Um, mix and match. And I'm gonna start selecting my products. So I want the accordion and my stories. I'm gonna do ones also that um, I know people are selling and wanting as well. So let's do this and um, five times. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six products here. So next what I'm gonna do is I can either uh, uh, save and continue, or I can go and um, add products or click the uh, gear icon and edit these products as well. So uh, this, once I click and save, this will be acted as a new product created in the back end. Um, so I'm gonna go uh, add quantity items. Um, so here's the quantity, one, two, and uh, three. And I can always add more as well. And I'm gonna click done. So add quantity items, add quantity. Uh, I'm just gonna add quantities one, two, and three. And you can play around with this as well. It's, it is again, fairly new. So I'm gonna continue and save. Um, to save this bundle, one change needs to be made. A bundle cannot have more than three options. So let's remove
edit quantities. Ooh, 44 variants. Okay. So let's just remove some of these. So I'm I'm very I'm very new at this as well, so I think this is why. More than three options. So this is really good to take note as well. So edit quantities. Wonder why it's So this is just a good test. Save and continue. So I guess that worked and we'll go in and dive into why it worked more. Let's just make this the product image. Mix and match is called mix and match. Lowercase, save. I'm gonna put this as active just so people can see it. Um, I do have a template I'm gonna assign it to and also um, a plugin that I just remember as a tag. So right over here, scrolling down, this is now created as a new product. You can tell by uh, going down here also, um, it is a new product, mix and match, page title. This is where you can edit your meta description. And also, um, if you have created your, uh, your meta fields, they will stay as well. Uh, so right over here, this is your uh, variants. Your bundle products are these two animated stories and uh, before and after slider, uh, one and two. So I have one, one, two, two, two of one, two of two. And it kind of already puts in the place of pricing for you of what you should um, uh, add. So I'm just gonna view this and see what it kind of looks like. So this is this part is custom to us. So put in your store URL. You can add your... And you can even smell my own business name. Um, I'm just going to copy that just to make sure. Um, and then also animated stories, quantity. I want to do two. And then before and after, I want to do two. So it kind of already just um, adjusts the pricing for you based on what your original products were. And I'm going to add this to cart. I have nothing in my cart state. So add to cart and I should see 60 now. Um, two and one. So what does this look like? Uh, what does this look like on the checkout state? So this is really, really cool. So this is, ignore this part because this is this was for us, uh, but hide three items. This looks really cool. So I got a two anime stories and one before and after slider. So this looks awesome. You can play around with uh, how to build the bundles. Also keep in note, um, one of the things that you can do is go into your top selling products and then start creating bundles out of that And also this is a great way to upsell products as well in the in the bundle. So if you are selling tumblers add um, Straws with it, you know eco-friendly straws uh, that work with it bundle bundle those two together if they really want that uh, This is something very cool. I I love how it stated this uh, cool drop down in the bundle state. Love it. Uh, the discounts do work still, uh, so that hasn't changed. Um, nothing else really has changed, but they really just made it super easy uh, for you. However, this, like I said, this bundle is a game changer. However, uh, our own bundle system does work a little differently. So uh, build your bundle. We have a custom bundle right over here, uh, three, five and 10, and this is based off of the discounts in the back end. Um, but this is really interesting just to see, make sure that if you do have, you know, tags, uh, you can add this to a collection. Um, this all works as well. So uh, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much. Until next time.